because the Mayans, the classic Mayans, used to use caves sort of like as churches. The, the, the Mayans that were the sort of civilized Mayans, the ones that lived in, in buildings, um, square streets, the ones that cleared the forest and made agriculture. That's what I call the civilized Mayans. And those Mayans, they saw churches, they saw caves kind of like as churches, like ceremonial places where you would go and they'd have these big ceremonies. And you know, maybe the outside of the cave would be for spectators. But then the inside of the cave was for more private ceremonies where only high class people, maybe a burial or a sacrifice or something like that, were inside these caves. They were considered like holy parts of the earth. And if you think of the earth as a living thing, which they did, then maybe the mind, the cave was like a hole that goes into the earth's body, like an ear or anus or vagina or, you know, a mouth. <laughs> See what I'm saying? The, the, the hole. And the down in there was like the guts of earth. The inner. It wasn't held like an evil place. It wasn't punished. It was like the inside of earth's body. So caves were like a fancy place. A place that they, they, they owned. And a lot of times there would be a temple of some sort next to the cave. And inside caves you would find little burials. Um, you would find, you would find some of the caverns would be blocked off, and if you broke that wall down, behind that wall, you might find stuff that you could sell. And that's what archaeology was in our history, if you found something you could sell. So people were always poking around mine sites to try to find something that you could sell. And there were a lot of people, tourists and collectors and dealers that would come, but they wouldn't buy a pot. So we used to see the pots up on the walls of the cave and we would mess with them because they didn't have any value and I didn't mess with them because I like to see the stuff but even like my parents sometimes you know they would buy something from somebody and say oh we can sell this and make a pile of money and we never did and the stuff sat there in the cave until around the 90s in the 90s now Belize was already known as a sort of a, as a chill place. The hippies used to come here in the 70s, like my time. But then by the oh. 90s, Belize was getting more famous as like uh, a place that you could come and see really good wildlife, really good forest ecology, and you could come and dig at a Mayan site. The government would give a university permission to what? dig at a Mayan site. So you could be any kind of student in the U.S. and you're going to come to study abroad and you're going to dig at a Mayan site and believe. So they, and they started digging all over the Mayan site. Well, one of the places that's considered a Mayan site and belief is every single cave. Because almost every single cave has signs of stuff that the Mayans did there. Either regular Mayans that lived in villages afterwards, the sort of more hunter-gatherer type Mayans, or people that, the first people that came from the U.S. Ah. Oh, that's dog balls. What? Well, yeah. A Pasinaceae family. But it's edible. Dog balls. It's edible. It's, it's a Pasinaceae, a Hawaii or something like that. And you can, you can eat oh it. It's God. not very super tasty, but you can eat that. You After can. you saying balls though, when it just did that. <laughs> You could taste it. Not this one, but you could grab one and, and, and <laughs> you could just suck out the whole lot of them. You want to try it? You don't want to try the dog balls. Most is ripe, it's good. Is it ripe? Yeah, it's ripe. When they're real red like that, they're ripe. Let's see. When they're green, it might stick you up your mouth a little bit. Carly, you don't think we should do it? Yes, everybody's doing it. Peer pressure. I love it. Anyway, I guess I got to wrap up this long like story, but you don't like it? I'm not, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I didn't even try it yet. It's mildly no. sweet. Tried it it's mild. Mm -hmm. Oh. Let's stop on it. Yeah. It's what we call kid food. 
you know, when your kids eat anything that's edible, that oh, it's like it. it's like another kind of thing. Well, another. Well, so you can't eat the seed. All you can eat is a little milk, mm -hmm. a little milk, and the little um fuzz that's on the outside of the seed. But for like tough things, not bad. It's not bad. Not bad. When we were kids, then we were hungry. We like, huh? We should eat that ball. <laughs> Okay, you gotta finish the story. <laughs> now we get to the point of 90, all these archaeology students start coming. They start getting a license to go into this cave and excavate the cave and see all what is in here. And they dug out the cave. They took everything. All the, okay, all the pots that were on the wall, they took out boxes and boxes and boxes of skeletons. And, you know, now all that stuff, you know, people thought they were stealing it. Supposedly they didn't steal it. It's all in <laughs> Belmopan, <laughs> in archives, it's in archaeology department. <laughs> so the cave basically lost all of its art. They are now in Belmopan or at certain universities. And there's still gonna be signs of that. Okay. This is what I think we're doing. We're going to check out the cave to see <laughs> the owners, the new owners bought it and then abandoned it. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Step into yourself, you shed the skin. Let the knowing start within. Moving forward, forward. Step into yourself, you shed the skin. Let the knowing start within. Moving forward, forward. Talking to my demons, pleading. I think it's time to let me go. Shadow dancing, you've been leading, ducking, dodging. I think it's time to rise and grow. Out the victim lane, things can't be the same. Shiny, show me the crystal stairs. Pieces of my past can front me everywhere. Look into my eyes until my spirit stares. Some days I just wanna give up. A complicated melody. Pray I find the life in me. Step into your selfish shed of skin. Let the knowing start within. That's the source of the water. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's probably a drink from the spring. The spring of eternal life. Oh, it is so nice. Okay. Like, it's just, <laughs> no, because it's so, it's delicious. The dream catchers, that's so amazing. You see all the maiden hair everywhere? Yeah. You gotta drink that water. Drink some of the water. Drink the water there? Yeah. This is really beautiful. Inhabited rock shelter in Belize. 
This is the rock shelter where they found human remains and signs older than anywhere else in Belize. 13,000 years. Wow. They're from Palio, what they call Palio Indian. Whatever that means. Yeah. Where's your flashlight? So they found a whole pile of archaeology of jaguar skeleton and human skeletons and stuff. So they would do like, they would do stuff here and people would apparently... <laughs> stalagmite the whole thing is a stalagmite some people call that tufa those are different um calcium carbonate formations that happen as the water this stuff to really appreciate it you have to put on your glasses and you have to get <laughs> close to it come close the closer you get you will see those are actually calcite crystals and some of them are large and some of them have flat faces so, and they're growing. They're growing because the water is super saturated, and as it evaporates, those crystals keep growing. And some of them are large. If you search around, you'll see some pretty big faces. <laughs> then that is something, probably a bat one that dropped there, and now some little lichen is feeding on that. And that'll change how it grows. I love you, Earth. You're so amazing. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Oh, this one is really cool. Mm -hmm. That one looks like, you know those necklaces with the... 
Like little flashlights. This is giving me Ursula vibes. And how long his oh, tentacles damn. are? Those front two legs? Those are his little feeler legs. They're like do they, do 10 they inches. Sting or bite? Like, no. They're like daddy long legs. He's in the spider legs. family. He has a. Uh, yeah, they're in the daddy long legs family. <laughs> they're like in the uh, Charinidae. They're the one that I close to spider family. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, still on. Oh, see, when I turned it around, though, it went off. It was only on for selfie mode. Let me see. It gets more and more like... This is where the cave continues. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we have to stop. It's totally impassable, but you get nasty. Then you have to start That's slinking amazing. through stuff. This is amazing. And caves are like that. You can get to the end of a cave and then find out that by squeezing through one little hole. Is that how people get lost? Huh? Oh, you go ahead. You got the light. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I could live here. I might have to deal with it. Yeah, I can't capture my own memories. That's what I get. I'm, a, I'm like.